Starlink Report. This is the Starlink Report. For October 25th, 2021, I'm Huey Poplock. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to get the notifications. The first stack of Starlink satellites launched into space in more than two months lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Station on September 14th. It marked the company's 22nd launch of the year. It also marked a record 10th flight for this particular first stage booster. SpaceX abandoned a planned launch last weekend of one of its Falcon 9 rockets carrying a batch of Starlink satellites. The launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base would have placed the Starlink cargo into polar or near polar orbits. The launch was set for October 17th. SpaceX has not explained the reason for the delay and a new launch date has not been released. However, it is tentatively set for October 30th. The big news since my last report concerned William Shatner, the actor who portrayed Captain Kirk on Star Trek. The 90-year-old actor launched Wednesday aboard a rocket and a capsule developed by Blue Origin, the private spaceflight company founded by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. The historic joyride made Shatner the oldest person to reach space. It was unbelievable, Shatner said shortly after emerging from the capsule. Jeff Bezos' company also has a satellite internet system called Project Kuiper, which he plans to launch 3,236 service satellites in low Earth orbit. However, they have not yet begun to produce them. In Greece, Starlink Internet Service officials launched in Greece uh, will take place before the end of this month. The Joint Ministerial Decision, JMD, for the licensing of satellite Internet systems is now on its way to publication in the Government Gazette. Essentially, the publication of the JMC will unlock the test mode for Starlink in Greece. This will allow a small group of users to use its internet services in the coming weeks. Then, in late November and early December 2021, the Starlink internet hardware will be sent to those who have pre-ordered it. In South Africa, as in many areas in the world, Starlink could serve as the only viable solution to bringing high-speed internet to millions, with consequences in employment, education, and entertainment. Looking at rural South Africa, the implications could be immense. Internet connectivity options and speed within rural South Africa are much more limited than in urban environments. The implication is that for those who can afford internet in rural areas but don't have access to high-speed infrastructure, Starlink could be a strong choice. In Chile, the Starlink uh, received the operating permit from Chilean's telecoms regulator, the Department of Telecommunications, to operate five satellite ground stations, enabling the operator to launch commercial services on a national level. The company's main priority is to first provide broadband in rural communities where terrestrial internet service is unreliable and unavailable. Starlink currently serves over 100,000 users who reside in the United States, Canada, Chile, the United Kingdom, France, Australia, Netherlands, Ireland, Belgium, Switzerland, Denmark, Portugal, New Zealand, Australia, and Germany. Musk recently said that they plan to roll out Starlink service nationwide across the United States by the end of October. Note, still limited by peak number of users in the same area, he stated, this will improve as more satellites are launched. Meanwhile, in the U.S., many people who have reserved their dish and accounts have become frustrated that they have not yet received them. Some have even canceled their order. A survey of 500 people conducted by Review.org has indicated that over half of Americans, 51% to be exact, might switch to Starlink. SpaceX plans to work with airlines to provide Starlink Wi-Fi on commercial flights. SpaceX's 
Starlink satellite broadband constellation will be capable of beaming internet service to passengers traveling aboard aircraft. We are talking to airlines about installing Starlink, SpaceX founder Elon Musk said Thursday. And that is our Starlink report for October 25th. The Starlink Report. Thanks for joining. I'm Huey Poplock.